I trust that science will find the answers that we need in order to move forward in these conditions. Because if we help them, we can really create a different world for these kids. Yanni is magic personified. This kiddo right here, he's been through more things than most adults will ever endure in their lifetime. And he does it with grace and humility. I mean, he's kind of our whole world. Yanni is, he's a sweetheart. He's funny. He's our only child. Yanni was diagnosed with IRF to BPL, which is a gene that mutated without intervention 100%. It is a neuroprogressive degenerative disorder that is fatal. Can you imagine being a parent and you finally get a diagnosis of your child's rare genetic disease and it's a gene that you can barely pronounce What's next? Where's the understanding? And this is really what made us create the IDD gene team. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm good. I'd like to meet you. Hi, Maria. Nice to meet you. So the IDD gene team program is designed to bring together families that have a child that is affected by a rare genetic disease along with a physician and scientist from Einstein and their trainees to learn together about that disease and how it's affecting the child. Hi, I'm Maria. This is Bernie, my son, and he's my husband, Sandy. So today we have two families. They had never met, even though each of their two children has a genetic variant causing disease in the same gene. And this gene is exceedingly rare. There are probably only 40 to 50 known patients in the entire world. And here we have two in our neighborhood, essentially. One of the families, their child was a young man and really very, very severely affected by the disorder, wheelchair bound and not vocal. The other family though, the child was very playful and active and really a dramatic, contrast. And so the older young man was in fact a playful little kid himself years ago, but now the disease has taken its toll. Most cases are de novo, meaning again, not inherited. So the way the, the gene team works is after everyone is introduced, the clinician will outline the sort of broader aspects of the clinical disease. And then the family telling us their story and then after that, the scientists will present a lay tutorial that's really designed where the parents can understand it. Hi, I'm Nani. I'm a medical student here at Einstein. Hi, I'm Dylan, and I'm a PhD student working with brain dirt. My name is Sarah Goble, and I'm also a PhD student at Einstein. Involving the students, medical students, PhD students, is a really essential part of these meetings. This allows them to understand the kind of impact the work that they're doing can have and puts them in touch with the patient perspective. An architect creates a space. She'll draw, redraw, measure, and trace. To engineer a bridge takes skill. Math and science fit the bill. For us, research looks like it's hard to say the word cure, but a Band-Aid just to slow down the regressions. And we will do anything in our power to help him and the other children that are enduring this. He deserves the world. And to know that all of these things that we've worked so hard to attain with him, to be able to walk, to be able to speak, to use his hands even. Your blood's are in there will get ripped away and um, rob him and make him a shell of himself is just, we can't let ourselves go there. We have to remain hopeful. Although we know that this is a stark reality, if we don't cobble a team together to mitigate this disorder. Richard and Violetta were really motivated after this meeting and wanted to do research to 
try and understand Yanni and Bernie's conditions. It's very difficult to get funding for rare disease research. Fortunately, we have a pilot grant program. So while the grant is small, it's really important because it allows them to start on that path of understanding the genetic basis of this condition and how we might treat it. Einstein has some beautiful minds that are willing and wanting to help us, and that's just huge in this rare world. And they understand there's not going to be a solution the next day or possibly even in the lifetime of their child, but that somebody's thinking about their child's condition and trying to develop treatments. So Sarah and Dylan came up to us after the meeting and they took initiative upon themselves to develop a program called Einstein for the Kids. The mission of Einstein for the Kids is to advocate for rare diseases. We also want to raise funds for rare disease research and help alleviate the burden of medical costs that these patients and their families suffer from. I think that it is really important for us as scientists to actually go out and see the patients, see the people who have these diseases. Reading it is one thing, but, but seeing it is, is something else entirely. The NIH has estimated that there are eight to 10,000 rare diseases. And by studying these diseases, we not only help the families, we can use that information to learn about other diseases. I know it from my own work, there are real commonalities between many rare diseases and more common diseases like Parkinson's disease, like Alzheimer's disease. One of the beauties of science is that you never know where are you gonna go. Discovery doesn't make distinction. You could see why science will tend to move towards helping millions of people. But then again, one family, one patient, it's enough.